anointing for family deliverance and progress. Not just deliverance, also for progress. It's going to be prophetic, so set your ears to hear God's word. And Psalm 107 verse 20, family deliverance and progress. He sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He did not come down to deliver them. He sent his word. People think deliverance is when you turn somebody's neck or go to dig something to bring out charm. He said he sent his word. It was the word that delivered them, not somebody going to say, we are doing family deliverance and bringing out charm from the ground. That's occultism. The word of God has power to deliver anyone. And today, as you look up to the sent word, you and your family will be delivered. Amen. He sent his word. In Psalm 45 verse 2, the Bible said, Dad, fairer than the children of men, grace, the path I want to share with you, is grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore, God has blessed thee forever. In Exodus chapter 3, 9 and 10, he said, Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. He said, They cry. And I have also seen the, uh, the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Do you hear that? Satan may not possess a believer, he cannot, but he can oppress a believer who permits him to be oppressed. Satan did not possess the children of Israel, but he went through Pharaoh to oppress them. There are families who agree with me, nothing to show for it. Everybody struggles, but nobody can come up. That is an oppression of the devil. You see one man have money, the rest nothing to show. And today, everywhere the enemy has oppressed you and your family, your deliverance is guaranteed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are the only rich man in your family, you are not successful. Because the burden on you will be too much. The dear family should rise. You can't be the only man blessed in the house. And everyone depending on you. That way you are not really rich. Because the weight they will put on you will be too much. Today, everyone genuinely connected. Listen, not just members of my family. Genuinely to you, I decree their deliverance at the sound of my voice. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, come now therefore and I will send you unto Pharaoh that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel out of Egypt. He sent a man. He said, I'm come down. Yet God did not come down. He had to look for somebody to send. Every time God wants to deliver a people, he will look for somebody to send in. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 13, he said, And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. So he uses prophets to bring. I don't mean prophets of someone carrying dreadlock. That's not a prophet, that's a seer. A prophet is God's mouthpiece that speaks God's word and comes to pass. A prophet, not a man telling you of your family. That's not a prophet, that's a bushman. Somebody telling you your father will die, your mother will die, you, you, all of you are confused. That's not a prophet. A prophet is a man who turns ugly things to good. Who turns evil and turns it around. A prophet is not a man who tells you of evil that will happen. It's a man who can turn the evil that wants to happen and turn it around. A man telling you somebody will die, somebody dies, is not a prophet. A prophet is somebody will die, but all of a sudden life comes up. Today, wherever your family has been tapped in a hole, deliverance is coming right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just as God sent Moses to deliver the children of Israel, so he sent me to rescue you and your family. But hear this and hear me well. Most times when you see families in shambles, there's a spiritual problem. Either your forefathers, your generation has worshipped idols, and all of a sudden the city is turned upside down. In the book of James, Chapter 2, I'll read verse 13. The Bible said, And mercy rejoiced against judgment. 
Rihanna and mercy the people rejoiced against what? Judgment. So there's when mercy comes, where God is supposed to destroy the family, his mercy prevails. Not against a witch and a wizard, though. I balance my preaching. Are you going to say now? If anybody in your family is a witch or wizard, probably you is not among the people I'm talking about. In Romans 3, verse 25, it said, Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God. Say here. He said, the sins that are what? Past. Things that made your family nothing to show. And it, an average, especially this part of the world, an average family here, before you count three generations, they were into idolatry. If not the first generation before you. Are you going to sit down? Somehow they worship all manner of nonsense. And then you see the whole family is, is in trouble. Nothing to show. He said, the blood of Jesus has power to clear such. Now I hear this, you hear me well. My parents come from a village. I'm not from down from heaven. My parents come from a village called Bolo in Okrika. And in that community, nobody rises up without falling before dead. No matter how wealthy, the person will die in poverty. All of a sudden, the one day I was, I can never forget, I was in Canaan land. God said, I call you to deliver them. Go and help these people. I came back and my mother was still alive and I told my mother, I said, well, God told me to go and help these people. And I went there, I said, don't bring any money. I don't need your money. He only told me to help you. People. And I prayed a prayer for them. The whole community gathered. And I noted the ground. I said, the first sign is that the closed road will be opened. They had the road closed for 25 years. They couldn't pass that road. They had problems with their neighbors. And after that prayer, the place opened up. And today, that demonic curse is broken. I went to a place called Abba in Dele. It's in Ikure local government. Abba in Dele has never had a road from the 1950s. Every attempt to construct a road, you're in trouble. Because there was a curse upon that community. They dealt with some missionaries and missionaries placed a curse on them. To cut long story short, I prayed over the place and it opened up. Today, I'm buying is like a township. Now, hear this. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are people God sent with a mandate to rescue people. Everything that has made your family not to lift their head, I stand in my office, mercy precedes over judgment. <laughs> By the blood of Jesus. I command the rod lifted in the name of Jesus. That rod that made your family not to rise. Now hear this and hear me well. That rod is lifted this hour. In Romans 5 verse 9, he said the rod. There are rods of God, rods of men, rods of the devil. He said, much more being not justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath. That means the anger of God comes upon the people because of idolatry. Are you going to have seen now? But today, he said, where by sin I remit, he will remit. Not everybody gave that mandate. I stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever mistake you made or your father's made that has kept you in that situation, the wrath is lifted. Yes. By the mercy in the blood of Jesus Somebody standing in the gap say a better amen. amen. In Ezekiel 22 verse 10 he said, For I sought for a man among them that should make up the earth and stand in the gap before me for the land. And I should not destroy it, but I found none. That means God is only looking for a man to stand in the gap. Is that true, sir? I went to Bayasa. I prayed from my stomach for Bayasa. And I knew that God visited them. If you see Bayasa, you can see before now, before that prayer, darkness sat over Bayasa. A people so rich, but nothing to show before them. You can't boast of anybody that is from Bayasa who has turned. I mean, it was terrible. But it is over. 
It is sometimes can come under a family, can come under a community, can come under even a country. Are you going to say now? But today, whichever one yelling the sound of my voice, I stand in the gap and say that problem is over forever. In my position as God's elect, I stand in the gap for all families yelling the sound of my voice. Whatever any of you have done that set your family backward, I ask the mercy of God to answer to you in the name of Jesus. I declare your family free from that demonic oppression. Whatever judgment plaguing you, it is over. The louder your amen, you have a testimony. In John 20 and verse 23, the Bible says, if you forgive people, I'll read the GNT version. I like the GNT version. It said, if you forgive people's sin, they are forgiven. Did you hear that? And if you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. I'm going to pray. Let me take a prayer. Everyone that wishes you good, that connected to you as a child of God, even if they made me say that kept all of you down, they are forgiven. Anyone that is a witch and a wizard after your life, I command their system to be forgiven. Even if they belong to Christ and say they have confessed that they are Jesus, I command their system to be forgiven. From today, in the name of Jesus. I remit every sin, hold your family down. I command that stagnating spirit leave you right now in the name of Jesus. That spirit of insufficiency that perpetually kept your family must lose its grip right now. The Holy Ghost destroyed that hardship in your family. That is a vintage your family that you bet from hand to mouth. It is over today. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18 to 21, he said, Then lifted I up my eyes and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be this? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the Lord showed me four capitals. Then said I, What come these to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah. So that no man did lift up his head. Did you hear that? You see a family, grandest, grandest, nothing to show. I've seen families where you see educated men, nothing to show for it. Are you getting what I'm saying? I was born in a town called Bonin. And one day I was talking to the ruler, I said, Look, I will do one thing for Bonin. I'm worried about this place. No, you can't count one billionaire from Bonnie today. They have energy. They all manner. Nothing. Nothing. You, that is not normal. I said, what is this? You go to Bonnie, you see a house here, a fine house, the man is late. 40, late. 50, late. Nothing. They have the highest multi-billion companies. Yet, there is nothing. You, can, you can't see a star there. We say, this is a star. I said, this is not normal. And I told them, I said, look, I don't need anything, just free. Since I was born there, let me do it. I said, but today, because we have a church there, I decree over Bonnet that curse be lifted. Yes, Including your family, that evil be lifted. Yes, Including your community, that evil be lifted. Yes, I stay anyone who say, Lord, for my sake, it is answered right now. Yes, In the name of Jesus. He said, no man could lift his head. But hear what the Bible says. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. You know? They said, I, what come this to do? And he spoke, saying, these are the horns which have scattered Judah. So that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to free them. To cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. Carpenters destroy existing unwanted structures and repair and construct a new one. 
Jesus came here not on the biological carpenter. He came here as a spiritual carpenter. He sent me as a spiritual carpenter likewise. Because the Father said to to destroy satanic forces holding your family down from rising. By the authority and power bestowed upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ. That age long evil that has kept your family down. Today is the last day it will remain. You will make progress after now. The louder your amen, you have a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Lamentation 3 verse 7, he said, He had edged me about that I cannot get out. Have you ever, you look at that scripture. There are, there are situations where you can't move like this. He had edged me about, I cannot walk. That's like a man in a cage. You want to go like this, no way. You want to go this way, no way. You go to school, nothing to show. They go for interview. When they go to your time, they say, no, no, we are true. He has hurt me what? About that I cannot. <laughs> but he said, whatever door you open on earth shall be opened in heaven. Wherever you have been etched with your family close like a demonic force, I command those chains broken. You free in the name of Jesus. Every satanic siege around your family resisting progress is caused in the name of Jesus. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Psalm 7 verse 9. Every form of wickedness against your life is coming to an end today. He said, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. He said, how long shall the wicked triumph? Today, God will join the wicked in the name of Jesus. Whoever is taking your name to any shrine, turn that will strike them. As I'm speaking right now in the name of Jesus. Any invocation, spare cast upon any family represented in this service or any this on tape, causing marital delay, disappointment, separation, problems in your family, divorce, affecting male and female in those family comes to an end in the name of Jesus. I return this spell back to sender in the name of Jesus. They say that ticket a bit shall fall down. Proverbs 26, verse 27. And in that roll let a stone, it will return to him. I decree every evil against us return back to senders. Amen. Those who say amen, they already have testimonies. Amen. I decree your freedom right now. Amen. Those of you due for marriage, I lose you for marriage right now. Amen. Be found this month. Amen. Men, get miracle jobs this month. Amen. No more delay in the name of Jesus. Amen. No more disappointment in the name of Jesus. Amen. Those with marital crisis, I command your maladies be restored. Amen. Enjoy better and sweeter marriages right now. Yes, Enjoy lasting peace from now. Yes, Every door the devil and his cohorts shut against your families, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command those doors, be open in the name of Jesus. Yes, Break through your business. Yes, Break through your career. Yes, Break through your profession. Yes, Break through diverse ways. Yes, I break that case of sickness. That curse of premature death. I cast it out of your family in the name of Jesus. No one dies untimely in your family. No more untimely dead in the name of Jesus. No one dies in his prime. The amen confirms the deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Now hear this and hear me well. All the families represent the salvation ministries globally. And those connected to this message, hearing it on television anywhere, I declare we shall all live long. 
not just look strong and healthy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now hear this. It shall come to pass in that day that everybody shall be lifted up your shoulder and you shall move your neck. That yoke of failure in your business, in your career, failure in your academics, failure in your marriage, I command it destroyed now. He said, blotting out the hand right now, but that was against us. Which was contrary to us, he took them out of the way to the cross. Colossians 2 14. Every handwriting of the devil, every demonic mark placed on you, I command them blotted out with the blood of Jesus. Yes, By the Spirit of God, I place a seal of success over your life. Yes, Wherever you go from today, you will succeed. Yes, In the name of Jesus, yes, your family will succeed. The Spirit of God will place a new glory upon you. Amen. From today, success shall be your story and identity. Amen. Of all the family saying amen to these prayers. Amen. I decree unstoppable progress for all. Amen. Begin to enjoy sinless flow of favor. Amen. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you in all things in the name of Jesus. Amen. The louder your amen, you have a testimony. Amen. Hear what Elizabeth said in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 25. And Joshua chapter 5 verse 9. It says, Thus had the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked up me to take away my reproach among men. Joshua chapter 5. He said, And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you. I rolled it away. That reproach and shame over you and your family comes to an end now. Yes, if you are the one who believes it, say yes, in the name of Jesus, yes, every reproach and shame has ended today. Yes, Somebody's amen is already given back to a testimony. Yes, Welcome to a season of glory and honor. In the precious name of Jesus, I decree heaven will not rest until you are blessed. Heaven will not rest until you are favored. Heaven will not rest until you are lifted and honored. In the precious name of Jesus, shout a victorious hallelujah. In 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18, he said, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before thee, that thou mayest by them mightest war a good warfare. Lord, these prophecies have gone forth. Not one will be prolonged, not one will fail. I declare all come to pass in my life and family now. I break out of every force that has held us down. You will pray as if there's no other time. Pray your family out. Are you getting what I'm saying? I prayed one day and I said, Enough is enough. When I became born again, I stood one minute. I was angry. The whole family was stunted. No growth. I said, What is this? And I prayed with a anger, holy anger. And there the whole family broke loose. That was the family I was before. Because I have a new family now. My family now is my wife and children. Are you going to now? They are my siblings now. But then it was my family. Because I was not married. Are you going to say? But now I have a new family. Now you are going to pray. Any force. This prophet has gone for not one fail in my life. You determine how you pray. It will not fail. They come to pass. Before I come back for the anointing section. Are you going to say now? I give you the next solid three, four, five minutes to pray your family out of that challenge. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus. Tell him thank you for answering your prayers in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Just as you are praying, that is how God will make it happen. In Jesus' mighty name.